Hey, I got two flashlights today that are actually quite similar from two different companies that I want to do a comparison on. Might try to start doing this a little bit more. Now this is the original TC15, but through night come out with the gold color. And I thought it was skull and crossbones, but it looks like two axes there. I don't know. But it's pretty neat. Uh, it's the same TH5 or TC15. And the other one is the Olite S2R baton. And why I choose this one over the very latest S2R second gen is the second gen does have a little bit more lumens, but it doesn't have as much throw as this. And I really like the beam pattern on this Olite S2R. The Olite, quite a bit shorter, smaller than a through night. So it's going to depend on what a person wants out of them. But I'm going to quick run through the specs on comparing these, and then we're going to do some beam shots. Now the Olite, you got five your moonlight a half a lumen on up to turbo which is a thousand and twenty lumens and that'll run for two minutes and then drop down to five hundred lumens and high you're talking two hundred minutes of runtime out of that light and as you can see there sixty days on a half a lumen now throw it says a hundred and fifty three meters and this is running a Cree XML L2 emitter in it the light itself comes with this flashlight with the magnetic base. Their design on their, people don't know, on the, the convex lens on a lot of their little O lights like that, it's pretty neat. But it's supplied with the 3.6 volt, a 3200 milliamp, and I do believe it is a, yes, it is a high drain, 11.5 watt hours. This is a 18650. And that comes supplied with that. You get a nice lanyard. I don't know why Olight sends them, but you get this Olight pouch. And what's neat on these, some people really like them, is that magnetic charging without pulling it out, without fumbling around or anything like that. It's pretty neat. That's the Olight. Now the through night is running five modes, not including strobe, but going from a one lumen at Firefly for 41 days on up to turbo which is 2300 lumens and that does run for two minutes and then it'll drop down to high and high on the through night is a thousand and fifty lumens and we'll see that's 90 minutes real good run time on high it's one thing I like about this light but I'm telling you it takes a lot of juice to run the turbos on these and your medium on down now this one that's what I was saying as far as comparison 246 meters of throw out of a one inch tube with that little one inch head light it just blows me away now if they put a bigger head on there yeah it'd throw farther but it just 246 meters with that thing it just unreal and you got your same with the O light I do believe now the side switch don't light up on the O light I thought it did but the through night you got your indicator there you got your typical blue light which is pretty neat but that one does shut off and this one's running through nights 3100 milliamp high drain 11.16 watt hours 18650 I've had good luck with these batteries I haven't had one go out yet on a through night yeah, and that one comes with a lanyard or I'm sorry a, a pouch and it's fairly heavy duty uh, don't mind it at all actually fits in there quite well a micro USB charger clip and a lanyard and some spare o-rings as far as uh, running both of them the switches are pretty much the same if you were to hold long press the Olight on you're gonna go into a half a lumen and the same with the through night you're going into one lumen and if you were to hold the switch the switches down through night you cycle the throw medium and high double click goes into turbo. Same with the Olight, cycles, double click, go into your turbo. What I want to do is go out and give you a, a comparison on the beam shots on these two lights. What do you say we go do that? All right, so I got a lux meter that I'm going to be shining these flashlights at four meters away and we're going to calculate the throw. 
So first up is going to be the Olight at 4 meters on turbo. That was 4 meters out. Let's see what it was. That was 414 lux times 4 meters square is 16 divided by the brightness of the moon, 0.25 lumens, equals 26,496. So we're going to take the square root of 26,496. 162.77 meters of throw. Not too bad. Now the true night. Thing's pretty bright. 1169. 169 times 16 years, 273 meters of throw. That is a long ways. Uh, that's higher than the last time I did uh, uh, the original TC-15. I think I got about 260. Them things punch out there for how small they are. Game shots. Alright, I got quite a bit of wind blowing here, so I think it's going to rain. So I might have to hurry up a little bit. So we've got a tree that's 62 meters away and the first up is going to be the Olite on turbo and lights that up pretty good. This thing's got a fairly wide beam like I said compared to the new Olite S2R second gen this actually throws farther but it's still a wide beam. It does a good job. That's the Olite and that's the through night on turbo. Punches out pretty good. But it's step it down a little bit. And we're going to move down to right there. This next tree is 94 meters. And that's Olight. Does a real good job. And overall, you can see how it lights up that background pretty good. Them trees are upwards of 190 meters away down there. About 140 to 190. And that's the Olight. And that's the through night on turbo. See that does an excellent job of lighting them up. We're going to move over, give it a little bit more of a challenge. That hillside is upwards of 300 meters back there. And this through night, doing a pretty good job. That's the through night, upwards of 300 meters. That's the Olight, you can see there. It just diffuses out too far. Uh, even with that, that convex lens or that lens setup it has. Then we're the longer distance. Of course, you can see there the through nights out doing the Olight pretty good. And even on, uh, that's the highest mode. Or not, that's just high. Actually, let's move over. And we're going to go in between these two trees. Just on high on the through night. Real long run time with this battery on high. Not turbo. Through night on high. That's the Olight on turbo. Olight turbo through night high. Now the Olight, if you're to step it down, that is uh, high there. Decent amount of run time on that. Olight on high, the through night on high. Olight high, the through night high. Let's uh, compare them to a truck. Got my Chevy Suburban truck headlights set up on high beam. And we're going to be back about four feet from the headlights. And that's the Olight. Pretty good job on turbo. That's the Olight on turbo. Truck headlights on high beam. The Olight on turbo. And the through night on turbo. Truck headlights through night. Wow. We're going to go in closer here, and this is the Olight on the low beam. Not the lowest, but the regular low when you click it on. And I'm looking in my backyard. Olight on low, and the through night on low. Olight low, through night low. Next mode up on the Olight, which would probably be medium. Olight medium, through night medium. Olight medium, through night medium. And that would be the high mode on the Olight. High mode Olight. High mode through night. High mode Olight. High mode through night. And there's turbo on the Olight. 
turbo on the through night. Does a great job, like I said. Them trees back there are a couple hundred feet away easily, way back there. And a through night on turbo, everything. Even on high, does a great job. Olight, not too shabby on high. You can see there. And then turbo, got more kick. Olight on high, through night on high. Well, there's your beam shots. So there you are. Comparison between the through night TC15 and Olight S2R baton. Uh, both good lights in themselves. You're looking for uh, some serious punch. It's hard to beat this through night for the size. Just telling you, it is. Very compact for the Olight. Pretty neat. So, just wanted to throw that video out there. Uh, the new design of the TC15, as far as uh, the gold color, to me this is a very popular light. Uh, I really like this light. I think one of my first lights that I've actually had that was decent is this through night TN12. This is a 2014 edition. It, uh, it doesn't compare to brightness on that, but it held its own. If you look, this thing is just literally beat the heck. So there you go. Through night TC15 and a whole light S2R. Till the next time.